So we have this Korean bow from Daylight Archery. This is the Daylight Arsenal. The one thing that's different from the other Korean bows is it has a shelf, as you can see. And these shelves allow um, more conventional styles of shooting, such as Mediterranean draw um, for bow hunters. And I think that's kind of what these are intended for. But you can also use thumb draw on the shelf. So right now, this, is, this shelf is set up for a right-handed shooter for Mediterranean draw. I think this is the intention for the Daylight Archery is they want to get into the, uh, you know, uh, traditional American bow hunting community. And one of the ways is to give a standard shelf bow. So it's got the shelf, you can use Mediterranean draw and just take your right hand and shoot it just like that. And you can use bare bolt draw, you know, um, standard Mediterranean draw, whatever you want. But um, that allows Hopefully this would allow um, more North Americans interested in this bow if they only use Mediterranean draw. I can shoot Mediterranean draw with, a, with my righty hand, but then I flip it and now I'm a left-handed shooter and I can use thumb draw with this. And I can pull thumb draw. These, this is a very heavy arrow, 40 pounds and 32, 32. Without the shelf, you can do Mediterranean thumb draw both hands anytime. You can switch it here. But like, if you want to do this Mediterranean draw on, uh, on the off opposite side of the shelf, you can, but it's not designed for it, and I wouldn't recommend that. So, um, but as a thumb draw bow with a shelf, it, it works great. That's what I like about this bow. Uh, and I find it a little bit more accurate because I can see the arrow a little bit better because of that center shot, since it's closer to the center. And the tips are, of course, very typical for the modern Korean traditional bows. Uh, rubber pads for the string string pads. And uh, the siyas are maple. And then it's got the leather tips, uh, BCY string. These are based on the late Joseon bows, um, of the composite horn bows, but of course made of modern materials. So um, they're a lot cheaper. I find the shelf does make me slightly more accurate because um, it's a little bit more center and, and I can see um, the target a little better than uh, without the shelf. But um, another thing I find is structurally, this has never failed yet and I've put at least a thousand rounds onto this now and it hasn't failed the structure even though it's so narrow. But then again, this is only 40 pounds at full draw so maybe that's another reason. And uh, Daylight does not make these in the really heavy weights. And there's a pretty good reason because it might cause a problem if you're going 100 pounds to have that shelf. Uh, so, but with this shelf, with the 40 pound bow, it's totally fine. And of course, I like this weight for uh, going into uh, indoor tournaments or just going into an indoor archery range because um, a lot of times they have draw weight limits. So you can't really um, use a heavier bow in those uh, places and that's the perfect place to use these things. The thing with the shelf that I don't like is for speed shooting. When you're trying to shoot as fast as possible with these shelf bows, there's a chance that, especially if you're using something like Slavic, there's a chance that because you're shooting so fast, it doesn't actually line onto the shelf. So when you shoot it like this and see like that, there's a chance that this can happen when you try to shoot fast. So. Uh, what you have to do is imp work on your technique so that it, you make sure the shelf so one thing I could do is I, I stick my thumb up to make sure the, the 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 arrow gets onto the shelf every time and that's pretty important or you can use a finger to twist 
to make sure it's on the shelf consistently. That's important for speed shooting. But when you're trying to do this as fast as possible, see right now I'm taking my time to make sure the arrow is on the shelf every time. But if I don't take that time, if I don't take that time to make sure it's on the shelf, um, you're gonna have a very inaccurate shot if it's, if it's off of the shelf. So just keep that in mind. This isn't the best type of bow for speed shooting. I just get a traditional bow without a shelf um, for speed shooting. Um, but with the shelf, Slavic draw is a lot more accurate with the shelf. Um, you don't need to do that much katra with it, in my opinion. Um, so that's the advantage of the one with the shelf. For Slavic draw, it's a much more center shot, a much more accurate shot. Uh, so you can use katra if you want in these bows, but because of that shelf, it's not that important. So that's another thing I like about these. So I recommend this. If you have no experience with Asiatic archery, you never use thumb draw, then I recommend a bow like this because that shelf is gonna help you shoot more accurately uh, compared to a traditional bow without the shelf. And of course, the traditional horn sinew bows, they typically didn't have a shelf because it weakens the material and you know, you can spend months making a bow, but then if your shelf is weak, this part can be a failure point. But with modern materials, you got a lot more flexibility in, in that context. Um, but um, that's why typically speaking, for the Asiatic horn bows, they don't really have a shelf here because of the amount of force, especially on a war bow, there's so much force on the limbs here. You really don't want to create a weak point here. But the modern bow, and even, even for daylight archery, they don't create heavy bows on, with these shelves. They're not going to go up to the 100 pounds with these because you're going to create a failure point here. Um, so. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And in my opinion, this is a good bow for beginners to shoot and try out Asiatic archery. And the price is pretty good for a Korean carbon fiber bow. It's Jack from Historical Archery.